Well, my friend, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. You see, I had a wonder, and my wonder was this. What if we drew something terrible? Something just completely awful, horrible, and terrible. And then it came to me. Today, we shall draw a terrible table. 100% true. A terrible table! So grab something to draw with and something to draw on and let's make some art. episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. Alright guys, paper time. Paper time, paper time. Gotta get your paper because it's paper time. Okay, paper time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it in? Yes, 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 okay, yes, done. Lovely, All right, wonderful. Okay, paper time. Here we go. Okay, we are drawing a terrible table. Yes, finally, I know. Look at this, all my markers are covered in felt marker. All right, we're drawing a terrible table. Terrible table. And we need something to draw with. So grab something to draw with and we are going to be drawing, yes, a terrible table. I know, weird, right? Why is this ter table terrible? Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? All right, we're gonna draw a line that starts off straight, but then you gotta give it some terrible texture, guys. Give it some terrible texture for this terrible table. Yeah. And then maybe there's like a broken piece over here and then it comes up again. It's like completely just terrible. It's just so terrible. Because it's a terrible table. Imagine trying to put something on this. Good luck. Okay, there we go. Terrible tabletop. Yeah. That's alliteration for you. When you say all your letters, same sounds in a sentence or in a statement, all one, one after another. Terrible tabletop. T -t -t -t. Alliteration, here you go. Okay, wavy downsides. But then magically it kind of has a somewhat smooth bottom. Okay, there we go, tabletop. So nice. And then like maybe we're gonna give it some lovely fanciness on here. So it's gonna have this nice little edge. So that at one point in its life, it wasn't so terrible. It's just super terrible now. Now, Maybe, maybe, oh yeah, maybe there are like one part here. We got actually somebody managed to get a vase to sit on there. So we're gonna draw like a half circle there. Leave a little gap at the top. Then we'll add a nice little rim on it. Then we're gonna curve down the side inward just a little. And then outward. So that's sitting on the top of the table. And then maybe add in there we, well, it's not a great table, so the flowers aren't great either. So maybe we'll draw some like super wilted, you know, flowers that have been in a vase a little too long. Yeah, we're gonna add those. So we gotta add some wilty petals on there. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Maybe one petal's like falling. Hello. That's why it only has one petal left. You've seen those vases. We're not quite ready to get rid of it, but it's seen better days. Okay, now we can connect the back with just a nice little fine line right through there. Skipping over our lovely, what are they, stems? Yeah, stems. Okay, we gotta give our table some legs. So like maybe this like front leg is like super nice, but then Maybe like, I don't know, someone's dog was like chewing on this side, so there's like a big chunk missing out of it. So, <laughs> and that chunk only has three teeth, so we're gonna put, you know, three curved lines in it. And then maybe we'll add the back legs over here. Maybe this one's like 
Ah, somewhat broken. There's like just like a small piece left of it. Terrible. All right. Now this is a very, you know, this is a frustrated table. So we're gonna do some frustrated eyes. So we're gonna draw two lines for the eyes. And then we're gonna draw a letter U below each. You know, this is what happens when you have not been, you bet your table has been neglected. It gets frustrated. All right, in each eye, we're gonna draw one more circle for the pupil. And in the pupil, draw one more circle. Seriously, I know, right? It's so crazy. And then we can color in the dark of the pupil, leaving the other parts of the eye nice and white. So nice. Oh yeah! Now, it's frustrating. Okay, frustrated mouth. We're gonna do a nice straight line across, curve in either side, just like that. Let's add some expressive lines around the eyes. And the back legs, we're gonna add some hatching lines, which are lines that we use for shading and creating value. And maybe we'll add just a few hatching lines here and there on the front. And I'll give it just a nice little shadow and some texture. And if you want, you can do it on the sides of your table and you can do it on the side of your place. And now you are ready to go ahead and find whatever you want to color with in and color your awesomely terrible table. And once you're done painting or coloring in your lovely terrible table, your terrible table artwork is done.